Hi everybody, Corey Thorne, the Spiritual Healer, coming in to do the monthly channel messages for December. This one is going to be for Gemini. Uh, please remember this doesn't replace any medical psychological. It is not a personal reading and it's not to be taken as that. Um, remember, you always have your free will and you need to use your free will and you have your own mind. Don't let anyone else decide for you ever. So... Please remember this also doesn't replace any medical psychological advice. I always have to say those things, but I hope this resonates with you. So Gemini, this is for, um, this is for December, 2020. I have, I have a sense of, um, how do I put this? There's some mind games around my Gemini, some mind game energy, some, some sense of uh, you've, been, you've been tricked, you've been fooled, you've been played, and there is an, some, there are some broken heart stories in here. I feel like um, by, by this, what I mean is that that you didn't get in the world all that you want. And as much as people keep trying to tell you that, oh, you need to do this and this will make you happy and this will bring you happiness and this will bring you joy and keep doing this and keep doing that. I feel like people are really good at fluffing your freaking feathers and people are really good at telling you because people see of you what you want them to see. They don't get to see the hurt you, the real you, the you show people what you want them to see in the outside world. You have an exterior you have an exterior persona that is playing out for some of you that has kept you being kind of being able to fall victim to what people can read of you because it's like this energy is trying to like read you, read your energy. And I feel like with you, I have a walking away. I feel like you're closing the door on the past. You're closing the door on something that you thought you wanted, something that you thought you were going to, that was going to fill you. And I just, and I'm just like, no, it's, this is a personal journey that you're taking. And it's like, there's a lot of unknown and you're going to be like really having to cross the bridge and bring yourself back into connection because that broken heart of yours, you're still like, it's still playing out here and it's not really real it's like it was and it's like I feel as if there's like and, and this was in reverse for me so I'm like I feel like it's like all that your your heart needs to be nurtured on and filled on is not in the material world right now and you got to stop wearing the facades and putting on the face so that you can be so that those who are really here to help you can help you properly it's like beyond beyond the reflection of what you show the world beyond the reflection of who you who you try to be, who you need, who you think everyone needs you to be, there is still that person. There's still that little flicker of flicking light that is like your light is on the on the brink all the time of of going out. Like it's like you just struggle. And I have a heart issue. I have heart conditions around some Gemini's into December coming into January. And I'm like, if you have high blood pressure and you have heart problems, you need to take care of this now. And I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. It could also be, I feel like it's somebody who passed away, somebody who passed away previously, like, um, um, a grandparent or someone who who had heart condition didn't know they had heart condition. I feel like this is a heads up, a warning. Like they're trying to tell you that broken heart stories or or not not getting the proper help that you need when you need help when you have a hurt a hurting heart or or you have a lot of things that's putting a lot of pressure on you and you keep trying to say I'm okay, I'm okay, and I'm not really okay. There's something of this that's telling me this is a freaking warning for you to truly truly make sure that you are taking good care of your health. Like I seen somebody go into like a cardiac arrest type of thing. I seen this happening. Like you've, like you've experienced this, you witness it, you've seen it happen before you have a lot of like, there's a lot of energy. There's a lot of people at the, like the wolves are at the door. The energy is at the door. There's a lot of like this trying to kind of take down this like there's a lot of that outside material world that's been able to it's like it's creeping in around the seeping parts of you because every, there are always somebody who can read the mind of beyond what you're telling what you're trying to tell them and it's like you're like you have the garden and here's the gate and I feel like 
this is your sacred space. You have a sacred garden. You have a sacred part of you. You have a sacred pieces of your life and who you are. And for some reason, it's like the people that you can trust, you don't trust. The people that you should be putting your faith into and, and trusting, you don't. You keep giving it to false light people. You keep kind of trusting. And in your door of values, I feel like it's like, like your money is blown out through those cracks, your, your value, your worth, everything is blowing out through there. And you're letting the out, you're letting this light outside of here, fluff your fucking feathers. Stop it. You have to come in. You have to do the right things for the right reasons. Now you have to work on the heart issues. You have to keep your heart. You have to work on the heart of your home, the heart of your important matters, what's important to you. You have to take care of your investments, your business, your family, your everything, your health right now. And I mean, your health in everything, Gemini is very important coming into December. It's like, and don't, don't spend what you don't have coming into December. Don't go thinking that you have to keep up with the Joneses. It's a little bit of a reflection sometimes with some Gemini energies, trying to keep up to that, to what somebody else has and you can't. And I just feel like here's the hostile energy. It's like, there's like this hostile, it's like, and you're taking off the mask. You're taking off this persona and you're going to face what you need to face. You have to face it. You have to deal with this. You have to be able to deal with life that's thrown, that's being thrown at you. I feel like it's like you're um, a little bit of fear of not being enough here, or a little bit of fear that's there. And so somebody has been able to pick up on what you have not been able to pick up on and playing a little bit of a game with you. It's like you got your feathers fluffed in all the wrong places. And now you got to, now you got to come back and look at where the heart of the matter is, where the people, because when when this shit goes down, when this kind of shit happens, you're going to find out who's really by your side. You're going to find out who really matters to you. You're going to find out what really, truly is important. And this is all the way around. And I also had this, some of this around um, Leo energy as well. And so I just feel like it's like, it's like, it's where you are within your community, where you are within your people, within your group, with their, it's like, you need to know who's been there through everything for their and just stick there. I have adjacent possibilities also coming up. So with what I'm getting, this is like doors. Like it's like everything where you put your focus, it's like, don't put all your eggs in one basket. I feel like there's more, there's some opportunities in different areas that you need to start exploring. It's like when we're talking about growing and growth and development is that it's like we get that sometimes we think that it's only in our skill set of what we have. And I think some of the skill set and some of this change comes in changing direction a little bit because as 2001 unfolds and comes into a new time, I feel like you need to be willing to change with the times a little bit because everything of how it has been running is not going to work the way that you've been running it. You're going to have to make some big changes. You're going to have to be open to some, some like new kind of business, some new kind, if you own a business, new clientele, or you're going to be open to like a new job opportunity, a new, a new career, new education, like re-educating yourself, re-educating yourself in the new areas so that you, so that you do stay alive, so that you still, st that you stay present and, and in this moment, uh, say, stay current, because if not, it's like, we're going to have some things to worry about. But I'm going to go back to the heart thing because it keeps coming back up. And I feel like door to spirit is open door to spirit. Like you have a spirit when you have loved ones on the other side, trying to give you wise advice about um, what's important to you, about your heart, about heart conditions, about caring for heart, about caring about the heart of the matter, the heart of the, like the heart of business, the heart of relationships, the heart of you, the heart of everything health, health, health is everything around you for December. And, and you need to care for this. I don't know why I have New Year's Eve, but I have New Year's Eve as a very crucial time for you. And it's like, if you want to be able to celebrate it, I feel like everything has to be healthy around you. Because December the 31st seems to be playing like I see explosions, which means, you know, it's New Year. So you could see that happening. But I also see some other explosives, like some explosive energy around you that if you do not care for this, you do not take for this. It's like, I don't know if you'll get to, I don't know what the celebrations will look like or if it will be a celebration or it'll be explosions. But I have this explosive explosion energy. So it's like, stop hiding behind that mask. Stop hiding behind that, that persona, that image of 
being the likable person, being the person like there's a hurt person behind there and you have the decrease card and this is in your very present right now. And this is quantum leap cards that I'm pulling here. These are Sandra and Taylor's the quantum Oracle. We're, for, we're forward projecting here, set an intention that you will, that you'll be your truest of truest self, deal with what you need to deal with and let the right kind of people advise and help you. And then I have that decrease and that fear of lack of, it's like, this all comes in cycles. We go in the even, even flow of life. And I feel like in the even flow, there's always a time when there's feels like there's not enough or feels like there's a lack of, but then all of a sudden this, this opportunity opens, this well opens and this, this moment opens. And I feel like that's around you, that's present. And then for your, as we forward project you even further again into do the right things, take off the mask. And I feel like you truly will, will be, you know, not needing to play it so safe that you can step outside of your white to defense stick, step outside that fucking mask that you wear. That's it. It's like step outside and just let yourself see. And I got fireworks. I got explosion, explosions, explosions, explosions of fireworks around you. And so it's like your intention of being able to play it safe, keeping it safe. It's like, like, don't do anything real stupid, but just know that there will be something to celebrate and that you, you know, there's a time to play it safe. And there's a time, a go time. I feel like right now it's like, where we are right now is that you you got to take care of the important things that need to be taken care of and then open that gate, go out, go out into the world, but go out into the world of who you really are. Not on trying to be the pleaser, trying to be like, trying to be all that. And then with that, your final card is that no, through all of that, I feel like in the end, it's like, it is happy success. It's rewarding. It's like making a conscious choice to, to fix up all of the things so that you can be this happy, successful person so that you can live in this light. And I feel like for Gemini, it's like, holy frick, did we make it through? Did we get here? And, but be willing to make the changes that need to be made. I'm very... Um, I'm very pleased to say that I feel like you're going to be receiving some congratulations, some awards, or you may even be seeing like a child or a grandchild come in here. I don't know why. I feel like there's something else coming that's going to be like, holy shit, we weren't expecting this. But there's a reason why for you to put the heart, to put all the focus into the heart of the matter, what's important, where, where does your, where does your heart lay, where it's going to be important. And then watch and see the life is going to just unfold some beautiful things some surprises in here this month for you much love have a wonderful month and i will see you all again in january <laughs> Bye bye